hurricane hits, the hurricane hunters give us a view of the storm unlike any other. But now they must find a new home. Tonight, one local congressman believes that he has a solution. The hurricane hunters from NOAA came to MacDill Air Force Base back in 1993, but the Air Force informed NOAA they have to leave their hangar by next year. Jeff Patterson joins us now live from MacDill Air Force Base with possibly a solution. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Stacy. I've flown on this NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft several times right out of MacDill. Now the NOAA unit is being forced to look for a new home. Their job is to fly through turbulent weather and track tropical storms. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration operates P-3 Orion prop planes and a jet to let us all know where hurricanes are flying next. But now they're running into their own turbulent weather. The Air Force is moving NOAA out of Hangar 5 at MacDill Air Force Base to make way for KC-135 refueling tankers that are being relocated to MacDill. Frankly, I think we could have a win-win in the Bay Area. Congressman David Jolly is happy the KC-135s are coming to MacDill, but doesn't want to lose the NOAA unit. When the 135s come in, that will add additional uh, air assets to MacDill. And now we find where to put NOAA assets. After a hearing on Capitol Hill, Jolly told Commerce Secretary Penny Pritzker keeping NOAA in the Tampa Bay area is one of his top priorities. First, it's the right thing to do for their missions of identifying and tracking hurricanes. But secondly, if they were to move outside of the Tampa Bay area, they would likely lose many of their skilled workforce that support their mission. Jolly believes the best solution is to move NOAA over to the St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport. Over at St. Petersburg Clearwater, there is a hangar space, there is office space for over 100 employees at NOAA, and there is land and ramp space. Yeah, the NOAA unit left Miami for Tampa in 1993 to come here to McDill because they wanted hangar space, and they didn't have that in Miami. Congressman Jolly believes the St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport provides the hangar space, the office space, everything they need on an immediate basis. Stacy. All right, Jeff Patterson, live in Tampa tonight. Thank you.